I'm Ron Diffler. I'm the Robonaut lead at the Johnson Space Center. Robonaut is actually a series of robots. There's both the Robonaut 1 and the Robonaut 2. Robonaut 1 was originally developed by NASA in the late 1990s, and Robonaut 2 has been developed over the last few years um, by a team of both NASA and General Motors engineers. It is a humanoid robot designed to help um, people perform a variety of tasks that currently other robots cannot do. The goal here is that there are many tasks that can be more efficiently offloaded to robots, for example, in space. Um, when astronauts perform tasks, there's a lot of setup before the task is actually started and a lot of teardown after the task is done, particularly on space stations, setting up the tools, setting up a variety of equipment. If a robot can perform that task, it allows the crew person to be much more efficient doing the things that only a crew person can do. Starting with R1, we went after both the hands and arms. They give you a workspace and the dexterity that's very similar to a human. When we went to R2, we increased that. We increased the, the speed at which we could um, perform tasks, and we increased the level of dexterity so that we can even perform more tasks than the original R1 can. General Motors was looking, just like us, for more options when it comes to mixing robotic technology and the human workforce. How can they be more efficient? The more options you have both in space and in plant and in an assembly plant, the better the opportunity is to become more efficient. Both organizations are looking for ways to add technology to both of our toolkits so that both space missions and assembly plants can be more efficient. Partnership between NASA and GM has been a fantastic one, and it has resulted in benefits that we hadn't predicted when we first started together. Um, both sides are looking for as dexterous and as efficient a robotic system as possible. But what's also been amazing is the application overlap between the two groups. Many things that we have to do in space that humans have to do are in many ways similar to the, the complexity, the, the, the situation when you're building a car. Both are complex activities and we have found interesting overlap that's been to the benefit of both of us. My name is Marty Lynn. I'm the principal engineer of robotics for the General Motors company. General Motors and NASA have a long history of working together going back to the original lunar rover and it would seem like a natural fit for the General Motors Corporation and NASA to work together on the development of the next generation of robots, Robonaut. The current Robonaut was developed really as a result of a partnership between the NASA Johnson Space Center and General Motors. So General Motors sent down a team of engineers to work side by side with the NASA engineers developing and assembling, designing and building the uh, current model of Robonaut R2. Uh, from General Motors perspective, we want to be able to automate tasks that are very repetitious, dull or ergonomically challenging for our operators. And those requirements are very similar to some of the tasks that NASA would like to be able to automate to help uh, an astronaut. So from that perspective, we're looking at using robots and automation to support our operators, to support our people doing the work, doing the things that are not as value added for the, for the operators. We see the, the technologies and the things that are developed that make up Robonaut being used in our assembly plants uh, very shortly. Um, we see great benefit to the sensing, to the types of controls, to the, to the software that's used in Robonaut. We see that as being beneficial and, and we'll be using that very shortly in our assembly plants. The NASA Johnson Space Center was really one of the world leaders in developing robots of this, of this class. It was a natural evolution for us to, and the synergies between the two organizations is really great, the natural evolution for us to be able to get together and uh, be able to work on the, the latest uh, Robonaut, which is R2. General Motors and NASA began working on the current Robonaut R2 about three years ago. 
the relationship has been fantastic. The partnership's been fantastic. And as you see from the robot, the robot's pretty, um, pretty amazing device. It really, we have hit all of the objectives that we wanted it, that we set out to hit when we started the partnership. The partnership has been absolutely fantastic. We've been able to develop the technologies that we believe are really going to help with the competitiveness of the General Motors company as well as the competitiveness of the country. Robotics are really the future of, of our ability as a country to be able to compete in a world marketplace. One of GM's core goals is to lead in advanced technology and quality in creating the world's best vehicles. The partnership with NASA and the development of R2 provide those innovative technologies that will help us achieve those goals in both our plants and our products. For General Motors, it's all about safer vehicles and safer plants. The technologies being developed in R2 will help our engineers develop advanced vehicle safety systems that will be used in our future products.